In long range shooting, it's imperative to know just how far your target is away from you. Now, the easiest way to do that is with a laser rangefinder. It's simple enough, you hold it up, point, click, tells you how far. But there are things that can happen, especially with batteries, and if you don't have it, and it comes to a time you have to take a shot, then you need to know how to use your rifle's reticle in order to find a range. It is critical that you have a perfect focus and parallax set while you're doing this, because just a little bit off on your reticle can cause you to be completely off as well. And the more you do it, the better you'll be at it, but there's always gonna be a give and take to ranging with a reticle. So for a visual, I've got a skimmer four reticle, like what comes in, um, a coloscope, and for our target, we're gonna use this 308 cartridge. What you wanna do in this technique is you wanna take your target and you wanna place it on your reticle where you can measure it and see exactly how wide or how tall the item is. Now, for the formula to work correctly, you need to know or have a very good estimate of what the target size in inches is. So, the formula goes like this. It's 27.778 times your target in inches divided by the mils that you read it at, and that will give you the distance to the target in yards. For scale purposes, we're gonna say that our cartridge is 20 inches wide. When we placed it on our reticle, we saw that it was 0.7 mils wide. If you do your math problem correctly, that's gonna give you 793 yards. Now, there is a few things about this technique that makes it very, very difficult. Number one, as I said, you have to be perfectly in focus and you have to have your parallax dialed correctly. Any kind of environmentals that are happening, mirage or a haze or anything like that is gonna cause your target to not look exactly the size that it should be. Bright sun can cause some uh, refraction things too in your scope. So this is not a perfect way to get a range, but it will definitely get you good enough. Generally speaking, you can get a good range out to about 700 to 800 yards, depending on how much you use this and how well you can use your reticle. There's a lot of tricks on how you can break those little subtensions down and get even better measurement. Do your math a little bit and play with it and you'll see that even a half a tenth of a mil off is a big difference once you start talking seven, eight, 900 yards. For you MOA guys, don't feel left out because as long as your reticle will allow it, you can still do the same thing. The math problem is only a little different. And actually, it can be a little more accurate because it's a finer scale. So the numbers you're gonna use are 95.5 times the target in inches divided by your MOA or minute reading. And that formula is gonna give you the range to your target in yards. So anytime you find yourself out in the woods and for whatever reason, your range finder's down and you're not sure what the distance is, at least you'll have an idea to be able to take that shot and be as accurate as possible. And it's gonna be much, much more accurate than just looking at your target and eyeing it. It takes a lot of practice and patience to figure this out. And you have to be stable and you have to be focused when you're doing it. But if you do it correctly, it's gonna give you a good solution so you can find your target at any range.